What's up, family? This is for my empaths out there. You have to have more self-respect about yourself than you hold empathy. This is a hard balance because we're made like this, unfortunately. An empath has this large emotional spectrum. And what that does is, a lot of times, because it's so easy for us to be aware of what's outside of us, even though we're very aware of ourselves and our emotions also, it's almost like supernatural for us to just focus on things outside of ourselves. And especially when we're a part of that situation too, we always want to put ourselves in the other person's shoes or in that situation and feel like we feel so bad for it all to the downfall of our own self like I said we're we're not focused on respecting us though we don't notice how much us focused on caring for another and then maybe doing things to affect us how much that's truly affected us because we're once again so outside of ourselves so focused on the emotions that they may be feeling which is a wonderful thing that's great that we're that compassionate and caring but we can't let this be to our own downfall and I wanted to bring this across your attention today because I know that you're out there giving yourself in so many ways to a lot of situations that don't I don't want to just say benefit you because it's not that we don't want to help people without without something being reciprocated it's not it's not always that it's that we can be completely taken advantage of and sometimes not even recognize it and I've just had to deal with this experience so many times throughout my life. And having such like a golden heart and feeling so deep for these people and knowing their emotions and knowing their thoughts throughout the whole process. It's like this is a, a gift, a superpower, but it's also a, a giant burden in the same way to be able to to almost read their mind through their actions and their emotions knowing them as a human and knowing what humans feel causes us to want to have so much empathy and so be so compassionate towards them to our own downfall though there's a point where you cannot let yourself deteriorate and continue to just focus on another as they basically drowned you you still have to keep yourself afloat. And this is just so important. You can't be that wonderful, loving, caring, compassionate empath if you've let so many people hold you down and turn you into this, this thing that just has withered away, basically. Because you have just tried to care for others so deeply. Or they disrespect you so far that you just stay in bad situations. Or There's so many things that happen to us along the way that a lot of times empaths overlook. And I don't want you to continue to overlook it. It's not worth it. You're way better than that. You hold values inside of you. And they should allow you to stand strong in who you are and have a purpose behind who you are and who you hang out with and put yourself around and the actions that you allow to be taken towards you and what boundaries you allow to be fairly crossed and, and other boundaries that you say, no, this is just completely not right. We have to find a balance in all of this. It's so important for us. Some people have it down pat. Like, nope, you're not doing me that way. See ya.
and then others they have this like I say it seems like a balanced beam that we have to feel both sides of so much and we can see how others seem as if they don't feel both sides at all they just know oh, this happened automatically this is how I should feel I'm not thinking into your emotions because I should not even have to this is this was done to me this is not fair when like I said the empath we cannot help but feel both sides we cannot help but feel the emotions of others as well as our own and to balance out and feel as if the other person once they've done us wrong weighs more heavy on us it's just not fair for us we once again have to take care of us we have to understand that we can balance the scale back to us and realize our self-respect is worth more it's so important family this is a short video I just wanted to kind of bring this across your attention today because it's something I'm being called to and I know there's many people out there that daily we go through different struggles and situations where it seems like it can be family members or friends or your own partners or strangers all types of situations where it just is not fair because we think so caringly so deeply into situations and we let our thoughts run away on us and we'll get caught up in just caring so deeply about something that it's no longer our worry this is when self-respect comes in and we need to switch those thoughts back to ourself again think about this today family my name is Macaulay Sage if you're new here I appreciate y'all stopping through much love and blessings to every single one of y'all if you can get outside in the sun today if it's nighttime tomorrow is going to be a bright day for you so family once again much love and blessings i'll see every single one of y'all very soon peace